So much, much earlier inside of this course, we talked about a feature called subtotals. We were, we were able to create a subtotal based on some column of data, such as maybe what you're looking at in front of you, get a subtotal on total expense based on a group within the data set. So I could do something like, hey, I wanna get a subtotal for total expense based on division. So I wanna get a subtotal for east, total expense, get a subtotal for north, total expense, and so on. This was a part of the subtotal tool. Now we saw just really briefly that there was an extra feature that came with the subtotal tool and it was called group and outline. It allowed you to collapse or expand your subtotals. Now what I wanna show you here is how you can create your own group and outlines. How you can group rows or columns inside of larger worksheets such as what you're looking at here. So once again, I'm back inside of the Excel 102 exercise files folder and I'm inside of the list functions worksheet. Now what I'd like to do here is we've got some months, January, February, and March, months worth of data here for these different divisions and different categories. Well, you know what? I don't need to see all of these months all of the time. I wanna be able to hide, just temporarily, hide some of these columns when I don't need to see them. Now you could, you could always do this. I, I wanna hide January. So I can select column C, I could right click, and I can choose hide. Oh, when I need to get it back, I can then unhide it. And I can hide February, and I can unhide it, and I can hide March, and unhide it, and so on. But it's a very manual process, it's not very accessible. What I'm gonna show you here is gonna create a little interface that you can expand and collapse at any point. Watch this. So let's say I, I wanna hide January, temporarily. So I'm gonna select column C, just give that a click. I'll go up to my data tab, top of the screen. On the far right, you got a section called outline. And in there I got group. I'm gonna to go to group, and I'm gonna go ahead and group it. So I've now created this group. And it says little horizontal line at the top with this little button on the far right. If I give that a click, it'll group up January, essentially hiding the January column. If I hit the plus sign, it'll expand it back out. Now, you know what? Let's keep this going. Right now I'm just doing January, but let's say, you know what? I don't wanna see January or February. Well, I'll highlight C and D. I'll go right back to data, right back to group, and I'm gonna group it. So now I've got two of them. If I collapse the first one, I hide January. I open that back up, now January's back. If I click on the second one, I now hide January and February. Look at that. Let's try it a third time. I'm gonna grab C, D, and E. So January, February, March. Right back to data, right back to group, and I now got a third one. I can collapse individual January, get January, February, or January, February, and March are now hidden. Just through a simple little interface called group and outline. And again, you can always hide and unhide, but that's a very manual process. Now it's just an interface that users can go to and click on buttons. Try this out. Open up the exercise file, group the months, or maybe take it a step further. Try grouping the different divisions. Highlight the rows, like I'm gonna get all the east right here, two through 15, get those highlighted, go right back to data, back to group, and I'll group. So I've now created a group for east. And if I click on the number one up here, I'll collapse east. Now I just got north out there. Hit it again, and there's east. So an interactive show and hide feature called group and outline. Try it out.